How are you doing, Prepper Link? Today we're going to discuss making your own burial tubes. You can use these tubes to cache items, geocache items. Uh, it can include firearms, ammunition, knives, any type of supply that you, you may need. Um, the key to this, though, is to develop a tube that is waterproof and that can withstand the elements, especially since you're going to bury them. Um, burying them does provide some protection from things like heat, but it does not provide any protection against moisture. And moisture is one of the biggest things that is going to deteriorate the quality of any type of product, whether it be um, a metal object that can rust, whether it can be food. Um, you know, so you got to protect against moisture. We're going to show you several different examples of burial tubes today, and we're also going to show you how to construct one. Um, but first, let's start off by going over what we have on, on the table. Um, Right here we have an uh, inch, inch and a half um, PVC pipe, excuse me, this is a two inch PVC pipe, and within this two inch PVC pipe, I, I include this into my bug out bag. And inside of this pipe, what I've done is cut it to size, and I've installed or put in a um, telescoping fishing rod. All right. So this telescope and fishing rod, I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that go over, uh, you know, the Altoid survival cans and tins and the 50 feet of fishing line in there and some hooks and all that other great stuff. But I really don't like those videos because they're not realistic. And especially if you're going to try to catch fish for survival purposes, um, then I would much rather have a fishing rod or a gill net or something like that in my survival bag, not an Altoids tin full of, full of a, a few feet of fishing line and some hooks and weights. All right, so that's my take on this. But again, I use this two inch PVC pipe and I put my telescope and fishing rod in there and place this in my bug out bag. I also have an attachment on the outside. I have some 550 cord on both ends here that I can clip this onto the outside of my pack if I need the room inside of it. All right. This right here is not waterproof. It's just showing you that there's different things that you can do with these, uh, this PVC pipe. But getting back to the point, let's look at a burial tube that I've already constructed and I've used PVC. Um, this is four inch PVC and it's one foot in length. Uh, on the outside of it, you have an end cap, then you have the one foot PVC pipe. And then on this, end of it you have a threaded adapter and I have a threaded plug as well. If I unscrew this plug just to show you how much room can actually or how many objects can fit into the one foot um, piece of PVC and within this I have I have 400 rounds of 45 ACP. I could probably fit, fit another 50 rounds or so in here, but I have them in 100 round bags, so that's what I fit in here. So again, this four inch uh, PVC pipe with one foot and one foot of length can fit about 400 to 450 45 rounds of ACP. Inside this pipe, I can also fit three magazines with 30 rounds each, so that's 90 rounds and an additional 120 rounds on stripper clips all right, to give us a total of 210 rounds in this one one foot section of four inch pipe. All right, So just give you some practical use for this project. Obviously if you wanted to make this pipe longer you could so you can fit a thousand rounds of 45 ACP in here or you can make it smaller. The, the choice is really yours. What I like about this project is that it's flexible and when we start talking about budget and things like that, it can get expensive to make these. The smaller the PVC, the cheaper the project generally is. Um, six inch PVC pipe, again this is four inch, a six inch version of this will cost probably a third as much. Um, so you got to factor in cost for these types of projects. If you only need one of them, then anybody can do it on a budget. But if you need ten of them, it becomes a different thing because you'll be spending a couple hundred bucks and supplies, all right? So just the sizing again, this is a two inch PVC, great for a fishing pole. It's not light, but it's not heavy either. This probably weighs a little over a pound, the complete set. So that's one pound that's added to your bug out bag. 
Four inch is good for any type of objects. Um, you can put magazines in here within reason. These are um, AR-15 or 5.56, 223 mags. Um, you can put loose ammunition. Um, you can put knives, electronics. You can put a lot of different things in this four inch uh, PVC pipe. When you transition to six inch, you can put most handguns in there um, and a few magazines, all right? And then the eight inch or larger, that's where you're getting into your rifles. So you have to scale the size of PVC to the intended purpose. So let's go about constructing one of these now. And again, this method here uses um, PVC end caps, threaded adapters, and plugs. And it, we use primer and glue um, to put this together. It's not going to leak anything. Um, the, the threaded end cap here, we put Teflon tape on the outside. And when you ratchet it down or screw it down, um, you'll, you'll realize the first big problem about this project. It's not always easy to get these end pieces or these plugs out of here. Yet in most cases, especially if you apply the Teflon tape, it's going to require tools. All right, so Teflon tape going to require tools. And if you're in a bug out situation and you don't have the necessary tools to get into it, you're going to have to break it open or, um, you know, you're going to have to find the tools to get into it. So um, it's one thing that I don't necessarily like about this method is really it's solid construction. It's going to withstand the test of time or at least our lifetimes. But it's hard. Again, I just barely screwed this down. It's hard to get this end piece out of here, especially without tools. All right. So the next method that we're going to go over, and one that's actually a little bit cheaper, the first uh, tube that I showed you, um, this four-inch PVC tube, costs about seventeen dollars to construct. All right. So again, they're not cheap. The next method is going to use a similar one-foot piece of PVC pipe. This is four-inch again, and instead of using the end caps and the threaded adapters as we use in the first example, we're going to use these flexible pipe caps. This has a little bit of tape on the outside of it for the thing. But this is a flexible pipe cap, all right? So it's made out of plastic, and then it has a clamp on here and a screw-on clamp. Now, the reason why I like these, and this, this was actually recommended to me from a, a friend of mine that's actually a plumber, is you know he brought up the, the issues of taking off the end cap or the, the plugs as I brought up already but when I saw these in the store I didn't know if they would withstand being buried for a while I was worried about rust but coming from a plumber's perspective he says that these will not rust that easily and even if it does it's probably going to keep that sill anyways all right so he said it's much better to use these and it requires less tools all you need is a flathead screwdriver for most of these are Phillip head depending on how this end cap um, clamp is built. But it's going to still provide that waterproofing capability. And again the reason why you want to go to this method is that it's much easier to open and it's actually cheaper. So if we do a price perspective, this flexible pipe cap costs as much as the end cap here and also the female adapter. So we're say four bucks here, four bucks here, all right? But this plug is also about $4. So since we're removing the plug, we drive the cost of this from about $17 to about $13, or depending on the length of your project, it could be cheaper. So we have $8 of material here, the two end caps, and this, um, this, this one foot piece, I bought this at a discount um, so I, I paid about three dollars for this. So this is eleven dollar tube right here And this is a very easy project to assemble um, all you need to do is to um, Open up these clamps Probably get it close to the end Because on the inside of these there's a little ridge and that ridge is what protects or makes that waterproof seal all right, so I'm going to open up that one. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver again. To open up this one. All right, 
I'm going to place that down. I'm going to wiggle the PVC pipe in here. Again, this is 4 inch. You can see it's not going on that easily. Even though I'm almost at the end of this clamp, I'm going to take it back a little bit more. And there it goes. It popped right on. All right. And I would take my flathead screwdriver again. And just screw it on there. Okay. Then I will take whatever I'm going to pack inside of the tube. Just for example, I'm going to put in a bag of 45 ACP. All right. Then I'm just going to screw on my other clamp. So there you have a completed project. Um, again, it costs about $11 to make this. Fit 400, 450 rounds of 45 in here, 9 million fit a lot more, or three mags and 210 rounds of ammunition in a one foot section of four inch pipe. Again, you can scale this, you can go six inch if you want to use, put a handgun in there. Um, you can go larger than that for a rifle. The key to this project is to figure out the intended purpose or to have a lot of this on hand. So if you want to put caches of, um, you know, firearms, let's say a, a pistol and a hundred rounds of ammo and a, a few magazines, and you need to scale the size and diameter and also the length of your pipe to the intended project. I like the four inch pipe for just general use. So there you have it. This is our burial tubes, our geocaching system. Um, it, it, really depends on how many of these that you need to see if it's realistic within your budget but if you have a few valuable items that you would like to cache somewhere maybe at a survival retreat or bug out location you can go ahead and do that and you can do it with a reasonable cost so if you have any questions feel free to ask us at www.prepperlink.com or post a question here to the YouTube video thanks for watching